in the human experience, there are limitations. From my understanding, we're living billions of lives at the exact same time. I don't know what I'm doing. And I think when you're doing something right and you don't know how you're doing it, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Do you want to come from a place of love? Or do you want to be coming from a place of hate and negativity? In the beginning with Shiji, I used to get a voice in my head like as if somebody was speaking through a microphone and there was a speaker inside my brain and it would ring out to my eardrums so it would like vibrate through your head. Very similar to if you got an acoustic guitar and you put your chin on it as you're playing it, this sort of vibration going through. And it was in English without a accent. I felt loopy. I felt, I, I felt, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I was taken aback. She was as physical as I am sitting here. If you were here today and you could touch me, I could do that with her. I'm Peter Maxwell Slattery, and I'm an experiencer. I don't believe I'm an experiencer or believe extraterrestrials or interdimensional beings are real. I know this to be true. You create your reality. By thoughts, by actions. A little bit different when I'm doing that. Still flow through all right. In the other realms, things aren't so dense. Things are very light and it's like filling up your car. You don't fill it up with petrol. You don't even have a car. You just go where you want to by thought. They will project a thought and it's just like a download, like shoving a USB stick into your head and bang, all this knowledge is just known instantaneously. She's using my mind as a vehicle and this comes back through. I did think I was crazy at some point, I did. But when you capture this stuff on video and people interact with these beings with you, that's been the saving grace for myself. Come on guys, give us the better go, eh? Shiji is a being of light from the Star Rope in the Pleiades. She's the overseer and the gatekeeper of Marope and the portal there. Again, when you're open to this, you seem to attract just things that know that you're open to this. This is one of the Earth reptilians. Oh, these weren't too bad at all, these dudes. Not, not a problem at all. But some people wish they've seen what I've seen. When they've seen it, they can't handle it. I've got OCD, I've got anxiety, I've got depression. Um, these are things that have come from some of the experiences I've had. You guys seen anything going on in the room? I'm just surprised if any misty stuff comes up because I've had some stuff go on in front of me. Like here. Yeah. Yeah. I think the word crazy is if you don't fit into the normal norm of things. You know, nine times out of 10 when you're talking about specifically this, you know, they're going to say you're crazy. And I don't want people to believe me unless they've investigated or seen something themselves or even seen something with me because that's the problem with society, that it's a belief basis we're on. And I know what I know, you know, and that's what I want people to know. I want them to know. I don't want them to believe anything. When I take people out sky watching, 
I'm getting them to meet the bangs halfway, and it's not like you summon them. It's more like if I called a friend up, hey, do you want to catch up? You're available tonight. Either they are or they're not. We don't always see something, so it's got to do with the intent with this sort of thing that they're about. I know people that have been sky watching for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and they haven't seen Jack and then come out with me. I've helped them to get their guard down, their preconceived notion of this doesn't exist. The intent's not about connecting or finding out about themselves, which is why a lot of people don't see stuff. Oh, is that the zoom? Is it gone now? It's still there. There it is. I really don't want this to be one thing where they go home and it happens like it does with some people. Coming all this way and doing what they're doing, I want them to fucking see something. This explains why I felt so awkward when I was young, why I felt like the black sheep, why I felt like the odd one out. And I've got answers to that and know why. Uh, let's just go Ryan, just um, where I'm from. But it is crazy, I, I've, I'll be the first to admit that. And I've got to laugh about it or else I'll cry. Like, it's nuts, I know. If we look at the beings that I'm interacting with, they wouldn't have the level of consciousness they've got or the technology they got, unless they were coming from a place of love. Because with love, we grow, we evolve, we have compassion, and from there, everyone can thrive. Once you understand we're all one consciousness, you understand that they're you as well. They're another facet, they're another expression of yourself. You just can't make this shit up. It, it, it goes past what any writer could think up. Everyone has a higher self and something going on behind the scenes. I don't feel anxiety, I don't feel hypo, I just feel like I'm just chilling. Almost like it's just waiting for a friend.